Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at SharePort on the DNS-323. Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So you've probably heard me talk about SharePort for our routers. If you haven't, this is going to be great. What SharePort does is it allows you to connect just about any USB device to the back of our routers, or in this case, to the DNS-323. With our new add-on packages, gaining the benefits of SharePort is simple and easy. And the best part is both PC and Mac users can gain the advantage of SharePort. Navigate your browser to the DNS-323 page at the D-Link support site. Under Additional Downloads, select the SharePort add-on and download it to where it will be easy to find. Now log into your DNS-323 and click the Advanced tab at the top of the page, then click the Add-ons button on the left side. At the top of the page, click the Browse button and navigate to where you saved the SharePort add-on and then select Open. Just click the Apply button to install the application. Okay, now our storage device is ready to go. So the next step is to install the drivers for any devices that need it. For our example, we're going to use a printer. So what we're going to need to do is install the drivers on any computer that's going to connect to it. Install the printer as you would normally by connecting it to your computer, then installing the drivers and software. Then move to your next computer. The reason we need to install the drivers locally is the way SharePort works. When you connect a printer to the SharePort, your computer thinks it's connecting locally. So we need the drivers on your computer. So the last thing we need to do is install the utility to make this happen. Installing the SharePort utility is straightforward. Just let it run all the way through. When you get to the end, you will be asked to make SharePort an exception for Windows Firewall if you are using this OS. Go ahead and give it permission. Now anything you connect to the USB port on your DNS-323 will show up in the utility. Right click and select connect. Well, there you have it. Adding a shared printer or expanding your storage capacity on your DNS-323 is as easy as installing SharePort. So that's going to do it for this week of Dealing TV DIY. I'm Mike and thanks for watching. Thank you.